Hey, Clint, this is Sergeant Room with the Sheriff's Office. Hey, I sent you that email earlier about those e-warrants. Okay. All right, that's great. Yeah, because they're starting to pile up, so we're just trying to get things situated before it gets too bad. Uh, oh. He has two releases from Court 6. I believe they were already time served. It's this DWI 3rd. It's the only thing he was in on. It's a they don't have it over there? It's a probation. I was thinking. So did they, no, well, did they accidentally file on the TDC bin? Because the TDC on it? This doesn't look good. Is it Dominguez? Yes. Okay. I'm a sergeant in Central Records Division. My main job is facilitating releases of defendants going to the street or to other agencies or to um, the Depex Texas Department of Criminal Justice. I like to say, like my lieutenant says, we are the hub of the sheriff's office. Um, anybody that's booked in or, or released, are, are we generate their paperwork to get them out of custody. So we handle a lot with the courts, with other agencies, with other, other divisions. Um, I've talked to multiple deputies, multiple sergeants, other agencies on, multiple, on a daily, t daily basis. Um, that's the gist of it. Um, we, that's a lot of paperwork, a whole lot of paperwork. Excuse me. Morning. Morning. Excuse me. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I came to the sheriff's office in 2006. Um, I was young. I was 19 years old, um, fresh out of high school. And um, my mom started in 2010. And when she did, I was quite nervous. Um, not only because she's your mom, your moms shouldn't have to deal with 90% of what she deals with, um, but it's concerning because I know how the inmates can be, and I didn't want her, because she has such a kind heart, I didn't want her getting um, in trouble with them, per se. I know you're busy. I need, to, I need you to take a card upstairs. We need to film it, if you don't mind. Do you have one? Oh, yeah, I know that one's no, ready. All right, well, come on, you. I need you. I need you, sir. <laughs> the reason I love this job is I felt I feel like I'm able to influence people um, on a day daily basis, be it the inmates or my staff. I'm able to impart in their lives a small amount of encouragement, much less be able to help them solve their problems. And if I can, at least I'm able to talk to them and give them an outlet. Um, it's not every day that you get to go to work and feel like you've accomplished something. Even though it's just in the kitchen, it's three meals go upstairs and you gotta do it again the next day. I get to interact with 50 different inmates two to three times a day and be a positive, not a negative for them, because they a lot of them will see the blue or the badge or the uniform as a negative. But I always try to make it about the person in the uniform, not the uniform. Hello, George. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Can you get through there now? I think I can. A little bit of good. Yeah. Thank you. Do y'all have anything in the oven right now? Is this cornbread or muffin or cake? Is this cornbread? Coffee cake for breakfast. Coffee cake for breakfast. Filling them up to go to the oven. And here's the rack that they're going to place them on. This is a regular population, doesn't have any health issues. This is the kind of trays they're getting. For me, it's like one of the first best jobs you could have because um, it's going to teach you patience. Mm -hmm. It's going to teach you discipline. It's going to teach you to be able to communicate, um, de-escalate. Solving. and problem solving by all means even though you may have to sit in a cell block like a fishbowl for off and on for 12 hours you are going to be probably a better person for what you see mm -hmm.
Yeah. And that's going to make a better detention officer. Very true. Very true. I love you. Mm -hmm. Take care. Yes, ma'am. Um, Whenever you tell me you're ready to go. I'd say Just, One yeah. Thirty. Okay. Yes, All right. Bye. 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 Be careful. Yes, ma'am.